Hi, my name is Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I'm following up on something I did yesterday, which was going over to the Purbex and having uh, an afternoon learning about foraging. So, plastic uh, tub in hand, we're ready to get looking. Not going to say I'm much of an expert at this. I do have a book with me, but it is drizzling, so uh, we'll just be maybe picking the stuff that we can fairly guess is going to be edible. Uh, won't be anything too wacky, I'm not going to dig anything up, it's just going to be stuff that I can pick, so let's see how we go. Now this looks like a massive patch of something they called pineapple something. This is not going to be very educational today, it's more me groveling about and finding out about what's in and around my local area. Um, but I think this might be similar to that as it's for making tea and I'm not sure I've got the patience for it I'm going to leave it where it is for the time being oh what am I on with I've just found the pineapple thing is <laughs> this titchy thing here that's a small example of it little bit bigger ones here yeah I'm a little bit more interested in the things that you can just um, pick off the bush and eat or make into jam so that's really what we're looking for or maybe some nuts failing that working out where we're going to find the nuts come uh, a little bit later in the year I'm just having a little bit of a sniff of these sorts of things I'm finding a leaf giving it a bit of a squeeze it smells kind of minty quite uh let's have another go quite pepperminty uh still not convinced i won't be eating it but uh maybe if i get desperate i might make a drink out of it Oh, there's some seed pods. I wonder what they are. Now these I do recognise. So they're slows, but I've read recently that the last time I picked them, I think I picked them too early, I picked them when they look like this blue. And they should be looking shiny and black when I'm ready to go. Ready maybe to make a bit of slow gin. I'm not sure if there's much else you can do with it. Drop me a message in the comments below if you can think of something else that I could do with some slows because there's a lot of them around this year. I really like looking for blackberries. It's just like a little piece of treasure when you find it, isn't it? And luckily on camera, that one tasted sweet. Having been inspired by the Forage for Knowledge walk that I went on yesterday, I thought I'd come along here and um, I think this little walk has got the most variety of potential habitats. We're going to be walking along uh, through a little bit of grassland as you can see, uh, across a little bit of kind of foresty bit, a wooded area, plenty of hedgerows and then a little bit on the beach. So I'm hopeful to spot lots of variety of things that I might be able to pick later on in the year, if not today. Just starting to get my collection of uh, blackberries going in my ice cream tub and of course I've got plenty of Tupperware boxes in my bag but um, I don't think I'll end up filling all three. <laughs> uh, a bit hopeful but it was because I thought I might find lots of different things that I'd want to collect and then try and work out what they were. What a bit of fun. I'm hoping that uh, given how warm this is, even though it doesn't look a very nice day, that when we get to the beach, uh, Cooks and I can go for a little swim, because that would be fabulous.
in the wood. I've got my eyes peeled for oak, um, sweet chestnut trees and hazelnuts and beech if I can spot it. I'm not really very good at the leaves yet but um, everyone's got to start somewhere um, and that's more of a scouting mission to know where to look in the colder months for the nuts. I think probably hazelnut might be okay. I've seen them dropping already but I don't yeah, there might be some other treasures surrounding those trees, which we're going to have a look, a look at if we spot any, but I'm not that hateful. Something that our guide uh, Jack talked about yesterday was um, using the seeds from stinging nettles. See these? So... I'm going to use a different box to the one in which I've got my blackberries and other edibles to get some of those and see how we go. Now I think it's a question of just breaking off uh, the tips and maybe a couple of inches. What I don't really want is a handful of sting. <laughs> so if you hear me yelp you'll know that's what's happened. Okay, this one looks good. Break it off there. One. Let's go with this one. A couple of those. I think I'll do for a starter. I'm not going to go too wild with that because um, I don't know if I'll like it. I think the main reason is to add them to dry out the seeds and then add them into things like salads. Um, let's see how we go. Apparently there's not a great taste of them but you're doing it for the goodness of your gut. Let's hope my gut appreciates it. I'm keeping my eyes fairly low looking to see if I spot any wild versions of the kind of herbs that you put into cooking because we saw um, wild oregano yesterday and that was real easy to spot and as soon as you smelt it you knew that's what you're on to so I'm having a look out for that sort of thing too it's amazing how many plant varieties there are isn't it ah. however this is one I do know I don't know about you but when I spot blackberries I pretty much can't help myself from picking some and having a bite and I have a little pot in the freezer that even if I only pick a handful I stick some in there so when they're out of season I can add them to breakfast muffins and things or cook them into stuff not really massively into making jam but I might give it a go I fancy doing that with some chili or something Make it a bit more, give it a punch or something. Uh, so now I think I've found some burdock, which is this big leaf thing here. And I think it is the root that you're after from this one. Um, but whenever you pick something, you're able to pick it if it's above ground, use the leaves or the berries. But roots are a different kettle of fish. You need to ask someone's permission, the landowner's permission. And to be honest, they almost laughed you out of town over something like that because it's quite a weed. Um, however, I'm not going to make a tea at the moment, so we'll leave that where it is. All these orange leaves everywhere. It could be October nearly, but we are still only really mid-August. Hope this is a kind of false autumn and that we get a bit more greenery um, before it all, all the leaves drop off. I wonder what these are. This is absolutely laden. I'll take them home and find out later. At least I know where this tree is, if indeed it turns out to be something that I want to have a go at. As I'm walking along fairly gently, I'm noticing all sorts. Just up here, We've got some rose hip 
again I think you can make tea with that uh, and maybe some kind of jelly as it's not something I'm desperate to try I'll leave them there till I come next time when I have a better idea about what I'll do with them uh, I've got time off this week so it's nice to be able to just take the time and actually indulge ourselves a bit have a gentle walk see if we can identify a few plants and maybe next time we do it we'll be able to identify a few more here's to finding an apple tree now I'm told that these hawthorn berries are edible or you can make a tea with them um, but not until they go dark red tried one yesterday chewing tasteless to my mind a bit of a sour one to finish the walk on um, but interesting nonetheless because I would never have touched them before if anyone's thinking of making acorn tea um, or acorn coffee I think it is there are thousands this year the trees are absolutely laden with them in the new forest the pigs are going to have a job on to eat all of those up so um, maybe we could help them by collecting a few and making some flour I don't know I don't know if I'm that committed but I could give it a try and make something that's vaguely edible and then do a taste test for your amusement if you like let me know in the comments if that's something that appeals I'm not sure if you can see this but we've got hazy rain now just exactly what you want when you're about halfway around the walk this might be our first proper drenching in months I suspect we might end up walking a little bit quicker and then maybe still getting in the sea we'll see how we feel when we get there good girl go on then Yes, a gift horse. Nice little hole. None. Being a spaniel, cookies foraged out the water. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Come on then. Wow. That one must be fairly old. Well, I've just spotted something that would have been useful earlier when I stung my hands trying to get the stinging nettle seeds, and that's this um, plantain. This one just here with the funny sandy up few things these leaves albeit these ones look pretty grubby um, are good for um, if you sting yourself or if you get a bite of some description crushing up the leaf and either rubbing it on the wound itself or by attaching it to the wound I don't know with some tape or something um, medical tape uh, is supposed to soothe it. Next time I get bitten, I'll be looking around for one of those. A clean specimen, obviously. Now, I said I was looking for an apple tree. Look what I found! And it is laden. I'm gonna have a go at one. Let's see what this tastes like. Uh, that one looks a nice colour came off quite easily, Ooh, quite a bit of green on it I'm going to eat the red side really sweet that's a great find might get a couple of these given the marshy atmosphere I'm wondering if I've just come across samphire I've, seen, <laughs> I've only never seen it in Tesco 
this stuff here. Well, let's pick a little bit. Have I got the grit to taste it? It's going to taste like the sea, isn't it? I think that's the right texture. Didn't taste too bad. I'm calling that samphire. Here's hoping. There's loads of it. All along here. It's said to grow on salt marshes and uh, couldn't be any more salt marshy than this. Looks like, despite what I was thinking, Cookie and I are most certainly going to go for a swim. Look at the state of that dog. Living her best life. Couldn't be any more caked in mud if she tried. What a minger. Progress is slightly slower now because I've switched from trainers to swim footwear and I've got my cozy on underneath. Little does the dirty dog who's up to her bloody elbows in mud now. We are going swimming. In the meantime though, brought my uh, bread bag, which I'm filling, hopefully not filling, which I'm using to fill with rubbish. So um, foraging of a different kind, a bit grubbier, but still quite satisfying to get it out of the uh, environment. I can see we've got an awful lot to learn about foraging but it was really fun getting started. I hope you enjoyed joining us and that maybe it's inspired you to give it a go and if you already do let me know in the comments what you make with it. I'm not massively interested in teas you might have picked up but um, but I'll, I'll take it if that's what you're doing with it. Anyway if you did enjoy it please give it a like, drop it a comment and also subscribe to my channel because it really helps and I'll see you next time. Bye!